activity is called zoom in and it's all about looking really closely at things. First I've got some paper so I've just got an old A4 sketch pad here but you can just use any paper you like for this. Then I have got a pencil and a rubber because we're going to be doing some drawing today. Um, then I've got a selection of felt tip pens. Um, if you've not got felt tip pens at home you could always use crayons or pencil crayons just whatever you've got that you can use to colour in with. Um, then I've got an old jar so this is just to draw around so if you've not got an old jar to hand you could use a mug um, just something round that you can draw around. Um, then um, I'm going to choose an object um, so a small object that I'm going to use to draw from. So um, it can be absolutely anything that you're that you like the look of or that you're kind of interested in. Um, it could be something that you have like a, a special attachment to, so it could be something that, that has a nice memory attached to it or something like that. Um, so I'll show you some examples of things that you could choose. So um, this is a, a large shell with a really lovely pattern on it. So that might be quite interesting to draw. Um, then I've got like an old piece of um, dried up coral here. Um, and this is quite interesting because when you look at it, it's full of lots of, of little indents. Um, and the texture is really interesting to feel on your fingers as well. Um, and then I've got this little toy. So this is the little dog from um, Lady and the Tramp, I think. Um, and I kind of like him because he looks like my dog. Because um, I've got a little beardy dog like this. So he's got quite a nice association. Um, then I've got um, a crystal here um, and this is really lovely because it's really nice like to see the light shine through it and um, the colour's really lovely so if you're lucky enough to have something like this then you could, could use that. Um, I've got a, a little marble here um, and this is quite a simple thing but when you kind of look at it like there's loads going on inside it, it's really beautiful and there's loads of colours and reflected light so I could use something like that. Lastly you could use like a little ornament or something so I've got a little elephant here. Um, so there's some examples of things that you might choose. Um, you might want to pause the video for a minute now while you go and get all your bits and bobs together um, and then when you get back we'll get creative. So I'll show you some examples of drawings that I did earlier. Um, so I've got a few different drawings here in my sketchbook um, and I'll show you which objects I use to make these drawings. So the first one here um, I made this drawing by looking at the pattern on this shell. Um, as you can see, there's like a really interesting pattern on here. Um, so I just sat and drew that pattern and then I used my coloured pens to colour all the different shapes in. Um, then the second drawing I made was from this marble. Um, and like I was saying before, if you look really closely at this marble, you can see there's loads going on in there. So there's like swirls of colour and then there's lots of reflected light. So I had a go at drawing my marble and then I, again, I used my felt pens to colour all the different patterns that the drawing made. Um, and then lastly, um, I made this drawing by looking at this little elephant. Um, so I'll just hold it next to the drawing so you can see and again um, I did my drawing and then I coloured it in using my felt pens. Um, so for my demonstration I think I'm going to choose to draw um, this beautiful um, crystal. 
Um, so I'm just going to pop it there for a minute um, and I'm going to take my jar and I'm just going to draw around my jar with my pencil. There we go, so I've got my circle there. Um, this activity can be really good if you're feeling a bit worried about something. So sometimes you can feel a little bit overwhelmed um, or if you feel like you've got a bit of a busy head and you need to calm yourself down a little bit. Um, if you have an object like this and you take the time to just look at the object for a while, it can focus your attention and it can calm all of those busy thoughts down. So you can use your senses to kind of explore the object. So you can feel the weight of it in your hand and you can hold it up to the light and see, is it transparent or is it opaque? Is the light kind of bouncing off it? What are the colours like? What details can you see on there? Um, and you can also feel the object with your fingers so feeling this now I can just feel like there's lots of kind of ridges in it and it feels really nice to kind of run my fingers on those ridges um, and you can also carry a little object like this in your pocket so if you're in a, out and about and you ever feel a little bit worried you've got your special object with you and you can kind of use it to calm yourself down if you ever need to. Um, so I'm gonna have a good look at my object because I'm gonna make a drawing of it now. Um, so I'm just gonna put it there on the page and I'm just gonna try and like, notice different things about it. So the first thing that I notice about this is that it looks like a little double peak mountain. So that's what I'm going to draw on my page. I'm going to draw two little peaks like that. And then I'm going to try and draw some of the detail. So there's a little triangular bit coming down like that. And then there's two lines that kind of meet the bottom of the triangle. So it kind of looks like that. And then you know those ridges that I was talking about before that I could feel, so they kind of come along here. And you don't have to get it perfect, so it doesn't have to be a perfect kind of drawing. You're just sort of trying to concentrate and like notice different things. we go so that's a kind of gives you a rough idea of what part of my object looks like you don't have to draw the whole thing just pick a little bit bit of your object just kind of zoom in and pick a little bit of your object that you that you like and that you find interesting um, and then I'm going to colour in my object but I'm not going to use the colours um, that I can see on the object I'm just going to use this as like a pattern and I'm going to use my own colours. Um, so I'm going to start off with a little bit of blue. And I'm going to draw some of these ridges here in a blue colour. I think I'm going to choose the yellow. Put some 
smelling a little bit rotten. I think just colouring in can make you feel really relaxed as well. I think some people like staying within all the lines and doing it really neatly and then other people like colouring outside the lines and just doing their own thing and I think that's okay as well. <laughs> so just do whatever you feel like doing. Brown that is of the green colour. There we go. My object all coloured in. Um, and I kind of like the way that's looking. I think it kind of looks like a bit of a surreal mountain range. So hopefully you'll enjoy experimenting with this activity. Um, and if you do, it will help you feel a bit calm um, if, you feel, if you ever feeling a little bit unsettled and you need to calm down. Alright, so that was Zoom In. Mm -hmm.